Thing. As the pandemic continues to force students out of the classroom, experts are sharing a new warning about the toll remote learning is taking on children. Alicia Palmumo has the story. The pandemic has made life hard for pretty much everyone, but now parents and psychologists are sounding the alarm about a parallel public health emergency that some say may be even more dire for children. This period of confinement is probably traumatizing for a number of them, and trauma is really hard to, like, overcome. Mom Antonia Foster says she is desperately concerned about the mental health of her 14-year-old son, Liam, with no end in sight to remote learning. He sits in his room, and he does his schoolwork, and then he has to do homework and then it's dark out, and where are we gonna go indoors? Foster says her 11-year-old son, Felix, is on an individualized education plan and has trouble focusing on virtual learning all day. I have to basically serve as his one-to-one -one aid here at the house. And that means her mental health is suffering as well. We're all here in the house, and like I'm the support person, and I am for everybody, and I'm worn out. It's near impossible for the stress of the the parents are experiencing to not overlap with what the kids are experiencing. Clinical psychologist Dr. Danielle Rusky is the executive director of Newport Academy in Connecticut. She says the best thing parents can do right now is validate the emotions kids are experiencing. As a parent, being able to open that dialogue, ask open-ended questions, and engage them, um, you know, not denying the reality of some of the struggles they may be facing. You can now take an FDA-authorized COVID-19 test from the comfort of your own home.